The story of the Cooperative University of Kenya, so rich in growth, can only be told from the eyes of a witness who has seen the institution move from negligible infancy to where it stands today. My late father was minister in charge of cooperatives and agriculture in the old days. So when this institution was being put up and developed, he was part and parcel of the institution. The Cooperative University of Kenya, as established, sits on a wealth of historical events that culminated to its current steady and vibrant existence. On the seventh day of June, 1972, the first president of the Republic of Kenya, Mze Jomo Kenyatta, inaugurated the Cooperative University College of Kenya. The president's most remarkable statement being, education and training are the surest road to overall efficiency in the business activities of the cooperative movement. 44 years down the line, and on the 7th day of October 2016, the University College is awarded her charter by the 4th President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, who coincidentally is the son of the 1st President, Mze Jomo Kenyatta. The chief of Council to the Cooperative University of Kenya. Transitioning its name now to the Cooperative University of Kenya and the first one of its own kind. Today, we gather to celebrate a new stage in the growth of education in Kenya. The elevation of eight university colleges into fully chartered universities. These institutions are drawn from every corner of our country. This day has come to these universities through a lot of sweat. They have worked hard, and from today, they can stand tall and be counted as fully-fledged universities. We also have the challenge now to actually build a cooperative university, or a university that, con that, that commands the movement, uh, not only in Kenya, but in the whole of Africa. You know Kenya is the best, has the best cooperative movement. Uh, compared to any other nation in Africa. We are number one and we are number seven in the world. So it is only prudent that this university is housed in this wonderful nation of Kenya. We look at this institution leading in terms of capacity building. We look at it leading in terms of technology development for the cooperative sector. We look at it bringing in uh, collaborations both uh, internally and externally and also we look at international collaborations in terms of research. So we see an institution whose name is shining. It's being uplifted up high. But don't be fooled. This journey has been longer than just those two events. But as Lao Tzu observed, the journey of a thousand miles will always start with the first step. Many many steps of this journey to a fully-fledged cooperative university of Kenya. The first step was made and there has been many, many more steps along the way to this day. We have been preparing for the charter and now we expect uh, to get very many students because we'll be able to, to offer a wide range of uh, programs. So in terms of uh, infrastructure, as we are really prepared, uh, for example, there is construction of the lecture theatre, which is supposed to have a capacity of 2,000. We are now uh, currently uh, looking at the development that will be able to uh, give us a sense of direction in terms of, for example, the uh, development of lecture theatres. We are looking at development of uh, hostels. We are looking at development of uh, water supply. So these are projects that we think uh, with time. If we work on them effectively, they'll be able to improve uh, the training that we are doing and also give us good quality outputs in terms of students and in terms of research outputs. We have already developed the strategic plan 2014-2019, which I expect to be implemented uh, as per our objectives. The university also needed to be inspected by the Commission for University Education to ensure that the university meets the requisite requirements for award of charter, including 
the physical resources, including the uh, academic staff, other staff administration, that the structures were in place and that we have sufficient programs uh, for the award of Jata. There has been turns and twists along the way, with the university leadership spending many hours to fulfill the requisite requirements for the award of the Charter by the Commission for University Education. What I do is now ask for cooperation, assistance, because one person cannot do all those things. But I'm sure working close to the corporate movement, the government, working very close with the students, lecturers and all people who are involved in this sector will go very far. I'm confident of that. So we have worked with the Commission very carefully ensuring that all these demands are met. And then of course the Ministry of Education has extremely been encouraging. And the former CS, Professor Kaimeni, and now and Dr. Matiangi, they have really been encouraging. And so it's been a an uphill journey, but every inch of the way we have stopped and celebrated. Since uh, the years we were in uh, the university, I would say that uh, the university has really progressed in terms of training. Um, we are now experiencing a very uh, positive uh, um, kind of a wave in the market where we are having our graduates from the cooperative uh, university being taken up by not only uh, the circles but also other mainstream financial institutions. We are sure with the, with the new status we are able to go places or we, we have challenges in terms of how much or how many students we can take and we want to believe with the new leadership, with that uh, elevated status, the government uh, may have to intervene by way of providing adequate infrastructure. I'm glad to report that uh, by November 2014 uh, the Cooperative University College of Kenya had met the requirements for the award of charter and from then it was now preparing for the actual award and this culminated with the award on the 7th of October 2016. Since uh, the charter was awarded, we have now uh, embarked on a process of transition this was a journey towards the realization of a dream by many a fallen heroes that saw the potential of this great institution. The preparation process was intense and immense. Many hours went into it and no one was spared, from the students to the staff to the management and the council. I was um, one of those gazetted to represent uh, the cooperative movement at the cooperative university college then. Uh, and uh, our journey starts from uh, 2013 August. We were given the mandate to ensure that the U university college uh, transitions into a fully chartered university. This university uh, has waited for quite some time. Uh, since 2011, when it became a constituent college of Njomo Kinyata, we have worked through day and night to ensure that we fulfill the requirements for the commission for university education. It is a journey that uh, we've spent sleepless nights. We have had meetings. Uh, we have tried to make sure that uh, the, 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 the population, um, the country itself, and our citizens also understand um, the importance of the cooperative uh, university. We, we tried to prove ourselves. You know, at the end of the day, the, 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 the most important thing we were trying to tell people is the movement in Kenya the movement in Kenya supports over 43% of the national GDP. I'm really delighted to have been part of uh, this Cooperative University of Kenya and I'm looking forward uh, to build this institution to be an institution of international repute, especially in the area of cooperatives, which is our niche. As you're aware, this has been a long, long journey that we've been working hard to attain a full-fledged status and we greatly appreciate as a university the award of Charter by His Excellency the President. So with the Charter is going to have very many challenges and to test the strength of the council and we are, I'm damn sure that our chair and our council uh, supported by the management is up to the job. From that day we got our Charter we knew it was not time to sit it was time to move and really move with speed. 
So we are looking forward now. Just as we got the charter to become a fully-fledged university, we are also in the process of making sure that the systems that are in place match the university status. I have one of the best councils anyone could ever wish for. Very uh, professional and very hardworking and committed. Indeed, the transition has been exciting, though challenging, and finally we are so, so happy we got the day we were ready for charter and we've been awarded the Charter Safu University. It's a big privilege to serve in such a position, especially for a new university, and one that I have been involved in for many years. So I'm delighted, happy, and I look forward to working with everybody associated with the university in the coming years. The news of the Charter Award was no ordinary news and the arrival of this Charter was received with joy and jubilation with students and the immediate graduates at the center of this joy. I'm excited, I'm very happy, I'm delighted. We were happy that we were awarded the Charter Now we are now a fully formed university. For us it was a celebration. We are happy that we are now a full public university by itself. It is a privilege to be chartered as the cooperative university because a lot of goodies will be coming not only to management, to the growth and expansion of cooperative university, but also to our students. They will be benefiting now, they will be graduating as the cooperative university, but not again as the constituents. That was really a blessing to all of us. There was a lot of joy, a lot of excitement, and a lot of celebration. It is a process that has taken a long time. But the, the award of the charter made us forget how far we had come. We have worked as a team, so we are extremely excited. And it's just like a child graduating to the next level of education. Come, join us. Let's work together. We've worked together before. Together, we've achieved a lot in the period that I was closely associated with the Ministry of Cooperatives. And I'm confident I can count on you, the corporate movement for us to move this institution to high levels that we can all be very proud of. A sneak preview down the memory lane would reveal crucial data and great pillars that would stand beneath this great and revolutionary institution. In 1908, the colonial government founded the first cooperative in Kenya. In 1952, the School of Cooperation was started at the Jean's School now Kenya School of Government. In 1963, there was a felt socio-economic need to adopt the cooperative development strategy. In 1983, the mission of the college was defined. In 1995, the Kenya Parliament enacts CAP 490A to establish the college as a body corporate with perpetual succession and a common seal. In 2005, the college launched its first degree program, the Bachelor of Cooperative Business in collaboration with Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, JKU at. The Cooperative University College of Kenya was formed under a legal notice number 161 of 4th November 2011. In 1967, the Cooperative University College of Kenya was opened in Karen and subsequently became the Constituent University College of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. In 2012, the University College Admitted Universities Joint Admission Board, JAB students, for the first time with its two foundational degree programs. Book your program. Book your course now and study with us from any of our campuses in any of the following variety of programs. Master of Cooperative Management, Master of Science in Community Development, Bachelor of Cooperative Business, BCOB, Bachelor of Cooperative and Community Development, BCCD, Bachelor of Science in Disaster Risk Management and Sustainable Development, BDM, Bachelor of Commerce, BCOM, Bachelor of Science in Finance. Study with us from any of our prestigious campuses at the main campus Karen, Nairobi campus, Meru campus, or even at our Mombasa campus.
For more information on our programs, please call us on or email us at or simply log on to www.cuk.ac.ke The Cooperative University of Kenya, a leading center for quality cooperative education, training, research and consultancy in Kenya.